Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today's video is entitled Suspending a 360 camera from a DJI Spark. What could possibly go wrong? Suspending one of my pride and joy cameras beneath another of my pride and joy tech items, my DJI Spark drone. Number one. What could possibly go wrong? I wish I could have fast forward to the end of this video for some hindsight thought processes. <laughs> oh dear. I saw a video earlier of somebody who mounted a 360 camera on top of a Mavic Air Pro. It had a proprietary DJI mount I don't own a Mavic Air I don't own any proprietary DJI mounts But I do have some <laughs> fishing braid, three DJI Sparks, and two 360 cameras. So surely I could create something. Sharing my thought process without giving away any spoilers. My thinking was, I'd like the spark to take off normally from its box at ground level and then take the weight of the camera fly quite high and take some 360 photos I'm always trying to achieve photos and videos that aren't possible with any other kit so I was quite excited about the prospects how do I mount the camera underneath the spark I've created mounts for the spark before where things hang directly below but this instance I decided to be creative and use fishing braid this is my thought process if I made four separate strings one for each leg of the spark I made them long enough and then joined them all at a central point then I could hang the 360 camera from this central point this would enable me to have the camera protected 
while laid on the grass beside the spark. The spark on its takeoff box and the strings long enough to allow it to get momentum to take off. I had thoughts of fancy attachments and setting it at the hover and then attaching it but I'm afraid enthusiasm got the better of me so I tied it directly to the four strings. Now there's a Wi-Fi obviously on the Spark there's a Wi-Fi on the camera. I suppose that was a possible issue of conflicts but it turned out to be not so much of an issue. So operating the Spark with a controller and my iPad 4 to view everything and an iPhone phone to set up and start the 360 camera. Did I mention it's Insta360 ONE X2. Fantastic camera, two plastic lenses, highly susceptible to scratches. If you buy one, please look after it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> right back to the dear filming the fact that I'm still laughing probably means I got my spark back and the camera back so that's not quite a be all and end all spoiler let's just see what happened Here's a scenario, the spark on its takeoff box, the camera laid beside him, both camera and spark fired up, the camera started filming, I decided to start the video on the spark, you may see quite a lot of me in the video but that's just to show you the spark trying to stabilize the footage of a suspended camera now the insta360 1x2 has amazing stabilization much better than any action camera so I wasn't worried about stabilization from that source and I wasn't really concerned about stabilization from the spark because I wasn't chosen to save that footage just for this interest video of the whole process Without further ado, let's see the takeoff and flight.
Well, what a flight. It was actually two mini flights, if you see. When the spark failed at the first attempt of stabilising the weight suspended beneath it, it descended until the camera was laid on the grass. Then the spark stabilised. I was at a loss wondering what to do. But I was encouraged by seeing the spark just hovering. So I thought the first try was the auto takeoff. Maybe I could do a little better with the hands on takeoff. So the second takeoff was me on the sticks. And the theory was to take up the load very slowly and give the spark chance to acclimatise itself to the weight suspended beneath it. Not to be, I'm afraid. The pendulum effect threw the spark off balance time and time again. And it was having a pillow fight with everything around using my camera as its weapon. I decided to call an end to the day while I still had a 360 camera. It was never going to get that high aerial footage that I chose. Maybe I got the pendulum too long. Maybe I got it too short. Who knows? That's where hindsight comes in. I suppose armchair critics are now come out the woodwork and tell me what I should have done. But anyway, I got up this morning wondering if I'd make a video today and I just have. So it's funny what life throws up. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Join me again soon.